Hi, welcome to How Did You Learn to Do That, where you will hear tips, guidance, and stories to help you to have a fulfilling life and career. The inspirational stories that you will hear from people will inspire you to know that you can create anything you want in your life and it just takes commitment and action. So I'm excited to have you here. I'm excited for you to hear these stories, these guidance and the tips that I'll be sharing. And if you have any questions, you could always reach out to me, info at howdidyoulearntodothat.com. And you can connect with us on social media. We're on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at how did you learn to do that and we would love if you could help us grow and expand this podcast by reviewing us on apple podcasts as well as on youtube and sharing the episodes with your family and your friends and helping us continue to spread the message that we all are deserving of a fulfilling life and we can be the catalysts in our lives to create that all right stay tuned for the next episode So I'm so excited to get into the topic today with you. We'll be talking about limiting beliefs, what you can do to identify them and how you can actually eliminate them and create a new belief that is more empowering, that's more positive, and that will actually allow you to grow. So I know a lot of you have sent in questions about limiting beliefs and wanting to have this conversation, wanting to identify what limiting beliefs are, where did they come from, how do you overcome limiting beliefs, and what limiting beliefs are you actually holding on to, and how do you actually work to overcome those limiting beliefs. We want to talk about affirmations, we want to talk about limiting beliefs around relationships, around love, around money, around success, around your image and what you think of yourself in order to have your self-confidence or what's impeding upon that Um, and really how self-limiting beliefs impacts your ability to grow and become that person that you want to be or become more involved or be that higher version of yourself and how they're really holding you back. So I'm excited to get into that topic with you. So if you have any questions, please let me know, send me an email, you can send me a DM on Instagram. And you can also leave a review for us on Apple Podcasts with your thoughts. And that that way we can grow for next time. And I can, you know, bring these topics that are really important to you. Just like this one, I asked about what topics you'd like to hear. This one was the biggest one. I would love to know what else you would love to hear. um, If you want me to expand further on this, not, um, and everything like that. So I'll be watching out for those reviews and those messages and make sure you get them in. Let's actually start with what a limiting belief is or self-limiting beliefs. So self-limiting beliefs are really about you. It's about yourself. So limiting beliefs are thoughts, they're opinions that uh, you actually believe about yourself that you think that are true, but they tend to be negative. They tend to not really be true. It's something that we've adopted from either our society, from what people have told us, or just our upbringings, um, and really have just thought, maybe that is that is who I am, or that is a part of me. Um, and they really impede your growth, they impede your ability to grow beyond what you think you are based on this limiting belief. Um, they really impede you being able to reach that higher version of yourself to become that higher version of yourself. I've been talking a lot about shifting your mindset and identifying your why. It gets in the way of that. It gets in the way of identifying what your mindset is, identifying your purpose, your why, really figuring out what it is that you're here to do. Because from a young age, sometimes we're told, oh, you're you're like this because you belong in this family, or you're like this because you're from this town or whatnot. And we start to believe those beliefs and they become limiting to us. But if we actually eliminate it, the world really is our oyster and we really can figure out what is holding us back, what limiting beliefs are holding us back and how we can actually use affirmations and start to reprogram those limiting beliefs in our brain. So it's just like when you're reprogramming something on your computer or on um, your laptops or really in your phones or anywhere, you're reprogramming it for it to say something different. So what if you could reprogram it from, instead of turning red, turning green, Um, instead of turning you into somebody that thinks that they can't do it and so you stop doing what you, you want to do because you think you can't based on this limiting belief, but what if you could do it? What if the limiting belief was eliminated and you had a new positive belief that said, yes, you can do it, go for it. You can make that change. So what if you could do that? So let's talk about that a little bit. Okay, 
So there are tons of limiting belief worksheets that you can search up and utilize. I can create one for you if you wish, and I'll, I'll be creating that actually in the next couple of weeks so you can actually use it and share it. Um, there's a whole bunch of lists of types of limiting beliefs around different aspects of your life. There's tons of examples, um, all of that kind of stuff. And there's tons of ways you can actually overcome it. So what I've done is I've identified a 10-step process for you to just get started in identifying your limiting beliefs and learning how to eliminate them and how to rewire yourself and your brain to actually believe the truth um, and believe this new belief where it's it is positive. It'll move your head a lot further. It'll allow you to grow. It's not going to impede you. Um, and it's really going to work for you. It's really going to work for you. So here's my 10 step process. And you know how much I love steps and processes. And I find that by having 10 steps or processes for anyone that's just starting out, anyone that's just getting into this, just trying to understand this, it's a lot easier because you can take kind of one area of your life at a time and really work through these 10 steps. So this is like, I always say it's, it's a work in progress. So you're not going to go through these 10 steps for all areas of your life in one day. You can kind of dedicate a chunk of time per week to actually work on this. Um, and then you can, over time, you can start attracting, attracting and working through the different areas of your life. So you can actually start to identify as many limiting beliefs as you can. Some of these limiting beliefs actually are very challenging to identify because you don't even know where they came from. You don't even know that you have that limiting belief. So you're not even, it's not even on your radar. You're not even thinking about it. So for now, let's just start with what you know as a limiting belief, what's easy for you to identify and eliminate. And then as you get more into this, and as you understand the steps and the process a bit more, then you can get into those deeper ones. Those ones are not identified by you. You may not have known about it. You may, you may not have actually given it to yourself. Um, it's something that may have been kind of over, over the course of your life that you don't actually know. It could be given to us by our parents, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do really about around identifying limiting beliefs is sit down and think of a theme in your life. So something that you know is holding you back. So if that's something around money, something around your success, something around your relationship, something around love, something about you personally, your your the way you see yourself, the way you're confident in your own body and in your own mind and in your own soul. Um, really, it could be any area of your life, but just pick an area of your life and start identifying the limiting beliefs. And this is where journaling comes in great because you can sit down and say that, hey, this morning I'm going to work through and see what are some thoughts that I have about myself that are limiting. So you can almost do this in a scenario way. So you can say, Okay, so here's a scenario. What would I do? So if somebody offered me an opportunity for promotion, how would I actually process that? How would I actually identify with that? And as you're working through that scenario, you can see the limiting beliefs that you'll have. You can see things like, oh, I don't think I'm qualified enough. Or um, I actually don't think I want, I don't have enough time for that. Or actually, I don't really know why are they giving me this promotion? Like, why not give it to Sally? Because Sally's been here longer or Sally's better or whatever. All these things are limiting beliefs because why is Sally better? Why should Sally get the promotion and not you? Why are you hesitant on exploring this opportunity? Why do you think you don't have time? Why do you think you're not qualified? What is it? So let's identify what those limiting beliefs are. And I'll give you an example of a limiting belief is when I started this podcast, I could have had a limiting belief of, you know, um, so an example that I could have had is who do I think I am having this podcast? Do you know, why would I want to be on YouTube? Why would I want to be on these podcast platforms? Why would I want to put my face out there? Like, who do you think you are? You're nobody or you're not beautiful enough or whatnot. Um, and these are some, th these are limiting beliefs I've had, but these are just examples I'm coming up with. Um, or, you know, I know of some people that have said the things that I just mentioned around, no, I'm not qualified enough. I don't think I can do that. I think I need to stay in this job for a few more years to understand the job a bit better before I can actually move on to a different opportunity or a different role. So the question is always why? Why do you think that? So once you've identified a limiting belief, when if once you've said, okay, you know what, 
I don't think I'm good enough for this promotion. Then what I want you to do is I want you to say it out loud to yourself. Say it out loud. Say, and Jessa, I don't think you are good enough to receive this promotion. So you don't deserve it. You shouldn't take it. Identify the limiting beliefs. Say it out loud. It's going to be harsh. It's going to be challenging. But say it out loud. And the reason we want to say it out loud is because you want to hear it. You want to hear what we hear in our minds sometimes is in our minds. But when you hear it out loud, it's a totally different experience. And you start thinking about it like, why are you saying that? You know, if my best friend came to me and said that to me, I would be like, why are you saying that? What's like, you know, what's going on that's deeper than this in you that's making you say this? Like, why do you think you're not uh, worthy of this opportunity? And then, so step one is to identify and limiting belief. Step two is to say it out loud. And then step three is to then sit down after you've heard it. And you can say it out loud to yourself one time or five times. It really doesn't matter. Where, however many times it gets you to really, truly understand it. And so then the third step is to ask yourself if it's true. So you need to really sit down. And this is where you may need to pull out your journal and really reflect on this. Ask yourself, is that limiting belief true? So, you know, do you really think you're not qualified for that opportunity? Do you really think you can't do that job? Do you really think that somebody else deserves that promotion and you don't? Um, or that job or that career or that whatever it may be or that success, or however you want to identify that, or your that money, that relationship, that love, you know, really just whatever it is that you, you're saying is a limiting belief. Really sit down and ask yourself, is it true? And identify if it's true. And if you think it's true, okay. But if you don't think it's true, then identify that as well and write it down. And that moves us on to step four. So step four, once you've identified whether you think that that's true or not. Step four is to ask yourself, why do you actually have this limiting belief? Why do you even think it's true? Or why do you think it's not true? And so then why do you have it? So getting a bit deeper, getting a bit deeper, saying like, where did this come from? Is this something that came from you? Is it something that came from a teacher? Is this something that came from your family, your town, society? Like, where did this come from? Where did this limiting belief come from? And why did you start believing this uh, to be true? Um, and why has this held you back? over the years of your life. So that's step four. So that takes it to a deeper level. That really gets you to really dig deep, really figure it out, really identify what it is that you need to do to really work through identifying when and why and how you even came to this limiting belief and believing that it's true. Okay, so what I want you to do now is step five. So once you've worked through those four steps, which I think is the big chunk of the challenge here because some of this you may not be aware of some of it you may um, and it will really require some of that detective work some of that digging deeper connecting with yourself kind of work and self-reflecting and journaling and things that you know I've talked about really understanding your mindset all that kind of stuff and you can see how this is all tying in together right so the fifth step that I want you to do is I want you to determine what it is that you need to say to yourself to eliminate that limiting belief. And sometimes it's easier to come from a different perspective. So imagine if your friend came with you with that limiting belief or that thought process, um, identified why they think they're having that limiting belief, whether they think it's true or not. So what would you actually say to that person to pull them out of that limiting belief, to put, empower them, to make them see the positive side of it, or to really just shift that weight line of thinking for them? What would you say to that friend of yours? your colleague or your family member. So determine what is it that you actually need to uh, say to yourself to eliminate that limiting belief? What do you need someone to say to you to help you eliminate that limiting belief? What would you say to somebody to help them eliminate that limiting belief that you're having? So really sitting down and working through, okay, so what is it that I really need? What is it that I really need here in order to eliminate this limiting belief? What is it? And you need to identify that. And so once you've identified what that actually is, then we can move on to step six, which is actually writing down that affirmation. So an affirmation to eliminate limiting beliefs or overcoming limiting beliefs with affirmations is a key step here. So an affirmation is a, a positive sentence or saying something that really helps you to move things forward. So for example, one affirmation that I've spoken about that I absolutely love that helps me daily is taking care of myself 
is moving myself forward and moving myself ahead. And the reason why that's one of my most favorite ones is because sometimes if I don't want to exercise and I say, you know what, I can't exercise because I've got to do this work. I got to record this podcast or I have to do this because this stuff is going to move my business forward. Well, you know what, if I'm not taking care of myself, it doesn't matter if the business is moving forward or not, because taking care of myself is moving myself ahead. It is bringing me to a place where I'm feeling happier and more excited, more alert, more invigorated. Um, really taking care of my mental health, my physical health, my spiritual health, showing up much better for my business and all of that. <clears throat> so identifying what it is that you need to say to yourself in order to eliminate that limiting belief is your affirmation. So say something like, you are capable, you are worthy, and you will do amazing things in this opportunity that's been presented to you that's an affirmation. So if you know what it is that you need to say to yourself to eliminate that, write it down as an affirmation. So write it down so that you can see that. Put it on a sticky note. Put it somewhere that you can see at any time. I have my affirmation that I just read to you on a sticky note right here on my monitor so I can always look at it. So do the same thing. Once you've written down the affirmation, then I want you to actually read it out loud slowly five times and every time you read it, I want you to believe it. I want you to feel it. I want you to really, 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 really be present with yourself and really just feel every single word of that affirmation that's coming through. Really understand it. Really process that information. And once you've done that, once you've read it five times, then, then I want you to move on to step eight. And step eight is where you're going to connect with yourself now. Now that you've identified your limiting belief, you've determined whether it's true or not, you've said it out loud, you've identified why you might have this limiting belief, what well, you need to be say to yourself in order to eliminate that. You've written down your affirmation now and you've said it out loud. Now you need to move on to step eight, which really is about going back and connecting with yourself. And write down in your journal, now that you've done this process and you've got to step seven and now you're on step eight, how do you actually feel? How do you truly feel? You know, how is this making you feel? Are you feeling happier? Are you feeling more joyful? Are you feeling that you are starting to eliminate that belief? Are you still starting to feel that, yeah, I can do this? Are you feeling motivated? Are you feeling excited about this opportunity? So what is it? So these are the key things that you need to identify um, and when you're connecting with yourself because you can really figure out how you feel and how you truly feel. Okay, so once you've done that and once you start writing that in your journal, then I want you to go into step nine. So here's where I want you to do a little bit of backtracking work because you've identified the limiting belief and you've now determined what you need to say to yourself. You've said it, you've figured out how you feel now that you have this new affirmation, this new outlook into life, this new positive outlook to life and this new positive belief, and you've started to eliminate that limiting belief that you had before, I want you to look at what has that limiting belief taken from you and what will eliminating that limiting belief and overcoming that limiting belief do for you. So one part of the question is, what has it taken from you and what will it do for you? by overcoming this limiting belief. So what has it taken from you? Have you turned down various opportunities that have presented it to you? Have you not applied for certain positions because you didn't think you were worthy? Have you not put yourself out there because you didn't think it was worthy? Have you not been to a social events because you thought, you know, why am I going, who would talk to me anyway? Um, have you not really presented yourself as a confident person, knowing that you are confident, knowing that you can do this, knowing that you are amazing at this opportunity? So. What has it taken away from you? And by limiting this, what will it give you? What opportunities will come forward to you? So for me, for example, when I was much younger, I didn't go to a lot of social events because I, I was self-conscious. I didn't feel confident. I didn't feel anything in my closet made me feel beautiful. I didn't feel that I was beautiful compared to the people that would be there. I didn't feel that I had anything to say or share that was impactful or powerful. But once I identified that limiting belief and I eliminated it, I started understanding that the things that it was taking away from me was opportunities, it was taking friendships away from me, it um, took happiness away from me, took joy away from my life. It really did not allow me to do the things that I wanted to or loved to. 
Um, and after I eliminated it, I have so much more. I have such a great group of friends. I was able to create such an amazing circle of friends after I had my daughter that were all moms and we all connected. Um, and I was putting myself out there with strangers that I didn't even know. But I put myself out there enough times and now I built this community and I'm so grateful for it. And that is what this limiting belief and eliminating it has given me. Um, and that was also what it was taking away. So now that I'm on the other side, I'm like, wow, this is incredible. And I wish I identified this limiting belief earlier, but the fact that I even did it this time, I think is incredible. And that's what you should think of yourself. The fact that you're doing this work right now is amazing. So you don't always have to think of the what ifs that did this earlier. What if I know it's so easy and I do it all the time too, but just thank yourself. Just celebrate yourself for doing this right now, for making this commitment to yourself because you will be better in the future for yourself because you're doing this work right now. And the very last step that I want you to take, the 10th step here, is that the, the affirmation that you have identified, which is now your positive new belief, I want you to visualize it. So when I said say it out loud, I said for you to feel it, understand it, really work through each of the words that you were saying. Now I want you to visualize it. Visualize it, manifest it. So if you say, I am worthy, I am capable, I am able to do this job and, I, and take on this promotion, I know I'm going to be doing amazing things. Visualize that, dream about it, manifest it. Just think about your life after the fact. Just think about the things that you will be doing. Think about the things that will come to you because you've you know, eliminated this limiting belief and that you've identified this affirmation that will really, really push you forward and allow you to grow and be the best version of yourself. Take that time to really move forward. Take that time to really understand that and um, visualize it. So those are the 10 steps that I want you to take to overcome your limiting beliefs, to identify those limiting beliefs, to identify those limiting beliefs, to understand where those limiting beliefs came from, to understand how you can actually overcome those limiting beliefs and what those limiting beliefs are actually holding you back from and, um, and you know, allowing you to move towards. So you can do limiting beliefs about money, like I said, relationships, love, yourself, your self-confidence, your jobs, your career, your version of success, whatever that may be. But learning how to identify those limiting beliefs and those fears and learning how to overcome them so that you can grow into a higher version of yourself. You can stop that negative language to imp from impacting you personally. These are all the things that are going to help you and move you a lot further. So it's exciting. It's uh, empowering. And uh, I'm really excited for you. So what I want you to do is I want you to, once you're moving through these 10 steps, I want you to share with me. So share it on your social media, tag me so I can follow along and share you on. Uh, you can send me an email if you want to do it privately. You can send me a DM on Instagram. And like I said, you can also review us on Apple Podcasts with your thoughts about this episode and ideas for new episodes and new content. So let me know and I'd love to hear from you. Okay, good luck. And I can't wait to hear all about all the amazing things that you're doing by identifying your limiting beliefs and overcoming them as well. Okay, we'll talk soon. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to the end of that episode. I hope that you have learned something from that episode that can have you getting closer to a fulfilling life and career. There's so much out there in the world that you can learn, you can experience, and you can apply to your current life that will help you start making those little steps towards a career that you love and that you're inspired by. So I'm excited for you. I can't wait to hear what you're doing. I would love for you to share with me over on our social media, or you can send me an email and let me know. You can visit our website, howdidyoulearntodothat.com for the show notes and for blog posts and to hear more about what we're up to. And of course, we would love if you could help us grow by reviewing us on Apple Podcasts as well as on YouTube and sharing with your family and your friends. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.